What is up my viewers, Spang here bringing you another World of Tanks gameplay commentary. This time it is from a player named Tim Rodin. Uh, I just gave him, I just said that with a bit of an accent because well, I could. But it is Tim Rodin from the clan Ego. Oh, I, I've, I've bashed your clan a little while playing in game before. I'm sorry, buddy. Um, but that, it doesn't mean you're a bad player. It's just, okay. I'm not going into that right now, but uh, I I've had some bad experiences with a couple of your clan members. Now, far be it for me to judge the whole of a clan by just a few members. I mean, God knows I've been in clans that have had a few bad eggs, so I won't hold any grudges. I'm not that guy. But anyway, getting onto the game, it is an assault map on Erlenberg, and he is in the M18. Now, I do somewhat have an idea, since he did give a bit of a description of what happened in the game. But, um, he did not send any screenshots, so I have not seen any real solid stats. I just know basic metals, um, that's about it. And, also, observing from the map, okay, the M18, good gun, not so great armor, good speed, good maneuverability. This Yog Panther about to learn the hard way that, uh, yeah, he really shouldn't push that far up by himself. And he goes behind cover, kind of, but Tim Roden here is just gonna keep shooting at where he was. Another solid hit, as you can tell. And uh, the comment I was going to make earlier is that Tim Roden here is in a tier 7 match. And not just a regular, oh, they only have a couple tier 7s and tier 6s are going to win this for the team. No, there's a significant number of tier 7s, especially on the enemy team where they had, now, now they don't have that advantage, but they had a tier 7 advantage, just very slightly. But... Uh, Tim Roden very quickly kind of evening the playing field. I was going to also make the comment that being a tier 6, he isn't in a he's in a position to have some weight in the battle, but he is really not a top tier tank. Therefore, he he doesn't it is not his responsibility to win this for his team. Now, if he was a tier 7 tank, it would kind of be a bit more his responsibility. Let's face it, the higher tier tanks, it is kind of their job to pull their weight. Uh, basically eliminating much more of the enemy team where the lower tanks are kind of fodder, um, more distractions and more of the spotting tanks. And yes, trust me, I've been in plenty of matches where I've been a lower tier tank and I've done devastating damage to an enemy team because they simply underestimate you. I'm not saying a lower tier tank cannot pull a great amount of weight in a match, but it is not their job. The tier sevens, the higher tiers, the top tier of the match is responsible for winning it for you. Now, as a lower tier, if you lose a match, you kind of just throw your hands up in the air and say, yeah, 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 I tried. Now, this T20 probably going to get himself killed. Tim Roden's team really not doing anything on the Western Front. Uh, that is the 1-2 line for those of you bad with directions, as I occasionally am. And actually, a surprising amount of fighting going on in the, in the town. The rest of the enemy team, that T20 being out in the middle of nowhere, I have no idea what he was thinking. Uh, but most of the enemy team seeming to either be up near the their spawn, that little one marker on the mini-map, or just right here near this hill and near the town. It's really kind of odd. It seems like a very pish-posh, you know, well, pish-posh isn't really a good term to describe it, is it? But, you know, haphazardly thrown together defense, yeah, which is to somewhat be expected. There's some more of the enemy spotted still along the river. Uh, but the enemy really has a very bad defense going for themselves right now. Tim Roden's team doing a great job of just picking it apart. You know, they haven't lost any of their tier 7 tanks, whereas the enemy team has lost two. And anytime you lose a higher tier tank, it is always a devastating loss for your team. And there we go, another tier 6 going down. That Panther clearly sees Tim Roden, and he will take a shot. Uh, he... Okay, one thing to notice is he's playing a tank destroyer, but he does not have a camo net. And that's acceptable for an M18, obviously, considering how maneuverable it is and how you can really play it a bit more like a medium and a light, especially considering it works well in that capacity, but it still has that camo bonus that tank destroyers get. And he is using that, as you can tell, hiding behind these trees, but at the same time, every time he moves, he disrupts that camo bonus. And if he had a camo net, he might be just able to hide that much better. Now, I'm not sure if he has any equipment on this or not, but it might help him. He might be finishing off this panther right here. There we go, a good solid kill on that panther. The town push working very well for itself. The enemy on the other side of the river really not doing anything. And I think the enemy really did just push too hard, especially in the town side. You saw how far up they were on that river. And 
not, like I said, putting together the best defense. That T20, just right in the open right there. That M24, also just right out in the open. The enemy team down by five tanks at this point. Up oh, there we go. Only four tanks now, but still a very, very bad situation for them. Tim Rode in here, as you just saw, the M18 moving very quickly. It functions a lot like a medium and a light in its speed. It really is more a, a light tank than a tank destroyer. It's just you kind of get the nice little benefit of a good gun and a uh, and that nice little tank destroyer camo bonus. So. Really solid play from Tim Roden here, except for that part, you know, driving into the wall. That's kind of unfortunate. But, oh, <laughs> the M18 bouncing a shell from the T3485. He clearly does not have the best gun. And there we go, absorbing another shot into space and armor, getting his fifth kill. So, really just absolutely decimating this enemy team, killing tanks his tier and higher. Uh, he has killed two tier 7s, if I'm not mistaken, by this point. And he thought about capturing and then decided, uh, why bother? There's four minutes left on the clock. Let's go take out the rest of these enemies. You know, why not? So the enemy team having a clear tank advantage, especially that KV-2. I know from my own experience, the KV-2 is a devastating force. Especially against its tier and lower. It can almost one-shot tanks. Especially tier 5s. E tier 5s do not like to tango with the KV-2. Especially when it has that derp gun. So this T-20 going to get himself killed by an easy 8 it looks like. That's embarrassing. You know, losing to the tank that's a lower tier than you. And getting himself killed by Tim Roden for his 6th kill. That makes 3 tanks higher than him that he has killed. He might as well have killed that Yogg Panther too. So I really would have liked to have seen what he got from this game. Um, he said this was his first top gun ever. At least, that's the way I read it in the email. Of course, he might have meant this was his first top gun in the M18. Because, clearly, he is a very good player. At least he was this match. I mean, it's hard to argue. The enemy team was also kind of bad, but it's always a factor that plays into his achievements, such as top gun. Now, definitely very well played. His team capping out. He almost got that seventh kill. Maybe if he had taken a second into zoom and, you know, just better aim that shot and that didn't go wild to the right he could have had seven kills but unfortunately he did not so very well played uh i just gotta say i i've seen m18s played very well but very rarely will i see them played that well so thank you for sending in the replay and if you like this video click that like button if you want to see more subscribe and if you've got a replay send it to bang replays at gmail.com email is in the description again disclaimer there is a big backlog at the time of this posting so if you send in a replay it will be a long time before i get to it and by a long time i mean maybe a month so yeah also please some discretion uh just if I'm, again, I gave that disclaimer in the last video. I'm not trying to turn down replays or discourage sending in replays, but at the same time, please make sure it is an interesting game I can talk about. Uh, the, the reason I bring this up is that IS replay I did a while back, it was what I would describe as an average game. Uh, I get those games pretty frequently. If my team does well, I consistently get two or three kills a match, and that's just how it is. So, it, I mean, I realize for some people who aren't as experienced in this game, those types of matches are very good for them. But for more experienced players like myself, it's kind of the average. And it makes for a somewhat uh, less than interesting replay. Again, I'm, I'm not trying to discourage or, you know, put down other players. I'm just saying... Um, I, I, I'm trying to keep these interesting for you guys. And if there isn't really much for me to talk about then it's it, I'm bringing you guys subpar content. So anyway, uh, this has been Spang, and I'm signing off.